Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Full Time Disappointment, where we just talk about football and our sorrows in life. And it's only game week six, so there's a lot of sorrow to come for the rest of the season. But yeah, we have the OGs in in the house. We have Nirav, the only happy person on the squad today, and the rest of us accompanied by me, supporting. A tragic, absolutely tragic football club, which is Manchester United. Only I am proudly still wearing this jersey. I don't know for what goddamn reason, but let's get on with it. Uh, Nihal, I'll go to you first. We all saw this uh, tragic state of affairs. The Spurs United game. Spurs gave a thrashing to us at home, three nil. What is your inst- like instant take on the game? Uh, the game itself started as a disaster, right? Like in the second minute itself. Um... Uh, both uh, Rashford and Garnacho could not figure out like what to do. They they were so out of sync, and Mickey Van Der Ven just like stormed. I've never seen a hundred meter sprint on a football in a football match before. So thank you so much for that. Like it was like watching the uh, Olympics. to be honest for like a few brief uh, moments and what a run entire united uh, midfield and defense were sleeping everyone was just looking at each other like who's going to pick up and like put in the challenge but that never came uh, after that spurs should have easily scored another three two or three goals before our captain leader legend decided that like he can't make any more good passes so he'll just go make really bad tackles uh, and uh, a, a really great challenge turned into a red uh, i'm not going to uh, complain about that because i feel like uh, eric ten hag is probably really, really happy with that red card because he could use that as an excuse for a shambolic team that he put out you would expect 1-0 at half time for a team and also like as a fan base which mocked other teams for like setting up uh, a very defensive uh, second half to expect to do something better but exactly 2 minutes into the second half again uh, martinez loses his brain makes a weird fucking challenge and that results into a another spurs counter goal and i think that was game over right even spurs took the foot off the gas at that time um, and then united were looking like they're growing back into the game and then came the silence of the third goal where again entire defense was sleeping i mean that's like what probably the most famous play in the set piece book right uh, someone tap in and then uh, you know wait for the a second touch going into the goal so yeah very disappointing very annoyed Uh, that's my take on the game. Sorry, sir. Nothing positive here. There's nothing positive to say. Once again, do you think this is the end for Eric Ten Hag? He he doesn't know what to do at home. I think this is very like to, I, I'm going to agree to everything Nihal said. This is I, I saw the same things in the game. He can't use an excuse against a squad because he he just can't do that. He has to get over it. He's the manager of a team, but he's the coach of a team, and he's accountable for results, and he's accountable for setting up a team properly. So go back to basics. If nothing is working, if you're not going to go score goals, you have to go back to basics. You're not going from zero to one. Like, like it's not rocket science. What are you doing? What is this complex structures in the team? Nobody's able to understand the security. Like. Why you, and why you sticking to this? You know what I mean. Like there's a there's certain reality you have to accept. I don't think he's accepting it. And if the fan base don't accept it, I'm scared this is gonna continue. And we did the same to Ole. I just don't want to talk about the decisions we've made. But this is the circumstance we're in, and we have to accept it and move on. Like otherwise, it's just going to be the same thing over and over. We'll be here analyzing the same games with no tactics, some random work. The the star is PG Mall in a United game because we have nothing to show for. So. There's, there's not really much to say about Eric Ten Hag football, and we have to accept this. And Radcliffe should accept this. And I was looking at a stat today, and I was wondering what he's actually doing to set up our team. And we don't have a good progressive carrier. The whole, the whole uh, Frankie De Jong kind, the arch type player. Uh, so he has to overbalance it and make structures in a way that you know compensates for it. And that's. The only thing he wants to stick to, and there's nothing called basics, and there's nothing called whatever in this whole situation. Yeah, and, and stuck to one particular style of play, and he's just trying to, you know, enforce that. And if that is not working, no. the team is not working. So 